Welcome back to Houston's Morning Show. Time for sports. I'm Nate Griffin. It is an honor to talk with the man partially responsible for the history we are about to experience in the next Super Bowl. Two black quarterbacks face off for the first time, and I'm honored to talk with the father of one of them now. He is Avrion Hurts, the father of Jalen Hurts, and the head football coach at Channel View High School. Good morning to you, sir. Uh, the first question I want to ask you is this. When you saw your son and the Eagles had knocked off the 49ers, what was your first thought? I was just happy. Uh, first off, good morning. Uh, thank you for having me. No, I was happy and proud for him and his teammates. I know, you know, I understand the hard work that they put in. And so it's just great for them to have the opportunity to continue and wish them the best next week. Coach, we had to have you on. I mean, it's no question about that. I want to ask you though about this. Pretty sure you are aware of the history about to be made. Two black quarterbacks face off for the first time in the Super Bowl, and it's your son. What's that like for you? I mean, it's a it's a humbling, you know, experience. Um, you know, I remember seeing the Doug Williams interview early in the week about it, and so it's just you know, it's a historic moment. And to have your child, you know, play in a Super Bowl but be paired against another black quarterback who is also from Texas is a great deal for you know all young kids to be able to see and have an opportunity to aspire. Now I understand there's a little bit of a history with the quarterback coach there in Philadelphia. Can, yes. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Uh, I coached him. I was on the staff when he was a junior and senior at uh, Baytown Lee High School. When he wow. Played. That is amazing. That is amazing. And his name is? Brian Johnson. Wow. That is just amazing. So have you spoken with Jalen about the game? Have you guys talked about anything? I mean, any teardrop? And I mean, what kind of conversations have you had with your son? No, it's business as usual. Mm -hmm. It's just business as usual. So he's, you know, they're starting their game plan and then they got to get ready to get down there. So, you know, just look forward to seeing what happens. I can only imagine how much excitement there is in your family right now. Tell us a little bit about Jalen when he was in high school. We know he was a great player, went on to Alabama, but tell us about what kind of a player was he for you there at Channel View High School? I um, mean, he was, you know, he's a heck of a quarterback for us. He did a really good job, uh, you know, took us to, let's let him and his teammates led us to, Took us to the playoffs his senior year. Um, we kind of messed one off his junior year. But, you know, he's a great player, great student athlete. So, you know, just fortunate to have him play for us here. And it just, you know, humbling that he, you know, he happened to be my son. What's it going to be like for you and the family as you guys prepare for this Super Bowl coming up? What's, what's up the next week? Can you tell us a little bit about that? Give us some insight? No. <laughs> no. no you really don't know. You, you don't understand. You know, it's just going to be you take it, take one day at a time and, you know, try to enjoy every moment. I totally understand. Well, he is the head coach of Channel View High School, the father of Jalen Hurts. We're wishing you nothing but the best. And I'm telling you right now, my, my spine is tingling, sir. I, I appreciate your time. Thank you so much for joining us. And I can imagine how, you know, you're going to need some privacy during the course of the week. Thank you. Thank you very much for having me. All right. Head coach of Channel View High School and the father of Jalen Hurts. And he said, no. And I like that. I appreciate that. All right, guys, we're live. We got a lot more coming up. Make sure you stay with us. All right. We're live here in the newsroom. Nate Griffin, Fox 26 Morning Sports.